Bayou Stitch Jack-O-Lantern. And first, let me give you a brief history of the Bayou Stitch. Uh, some of the stitches used in this project date back to the fourth century. Uh, these stitches can be found in examples throughout Europe over the centuries, including wall hangings, garments, and religious vestments. And the particular example that inspired this project is the Bayou Tapestry, which depicts the Norman invasion of England culminating in the Battle of Hastings on October 14th, 1066. The tapestry was made in England a few years after the Norman conquest and is on display in a museum in Bayou, France. Okay, what you're gonna need is fabric, whatever you like, uh, pencil chalk or some other method of drawing the pattern on your fabric, an embroidery needle, an embroidery hoop or frame, a skein of green floss, I used DMC 904, a skein of brown floss, I used DMC 3371, or whatever color you want to use for the face of the jack-o'-lantern, and three skeins of orange floss, I used DMC 740. The first thing you'll want to do is get your pattern onto your fabric however you like best. I have a light colored fabric, so using a light box and a pencil to trace the pattern on worked best for me. Once that's ready, I put my fabric in an embroidery hoop to keep a nice tension in the fabric to make it easier to embroider. Now the first stitches we're going to do are the outlines, so basically everywhere where the pumpkin has been drawn on, and for that we're going to use what's called a stem stitch. So you'll just pick somewhere to start in your pattern, and I am using three strands of floss. And so I'll make a stitch. Right on the line of my pattern. And then I'm going to come up to about the middle of that stitch right next to it, just touching it. And bring my thread through. And then I'm going to go back onto the line. And then I'm going to come back up again on the staying to the same sides as I did with the previous stitch. And I'm going to continue around until I've got an outline of my pumpkin. So I'm doing orange on the pumpkin, doing my green up here on the stem. And then if you want to, you can do your alternate color, your brown or your yellow, or I just did orange on mine. So you can see that a little better focus right there so yeah you'll continue around until you use up your thread and keep doing that until you get the entire outline of the pumpkin okay so once you have the stem stitch that you have used to do all the borders so your orange pumpkin bits and the stem and your face that's when you're going to start doing the bayou stitch now this is a couching stitch that has three different steps and I've already done a little bit to show you, and then I'm going to show you how it begins. So the finished product looks a little bit like this right here. And what I've done is I've taken a six strand piece of floss and used it to do vertical stitches up and down all along here. And they're gonna look kind of loose because you're using it to cover a large area. So I've just done a vertical stitch up and down, back and forth using six strands. And then when I'm done with that part, I come back in and do a horizontal stripe. And I just used four strands of the floss to do that. And as you can see, it kind of holds it down in a line. And then the third step, you come in, I use just two strands of floss. And I actually, it's kind of hard to see, but I tacked down in between each of the six strand threads to hold down the four strand piece that goes across horizontally. So now just to kind of demonstrate what you're going to want to do in a section is you'll want to come up through the fabric and then you want to go through vertically so make sure you kind of have a vertical stripe right there. So as you can see, it's just going to be 
this loose stripe. And you're just going to come up right next to it and just keep going back and forth, up and down. So that eventually what you'll have is a filled in section of pumpkin. Once you've got all your vertical six strand embroidery done, you're going to come back through with four strands of floss and do horizontal stripes to help tack down your vertical stripes. Like this. And what that does is it helps hold the looser stripes in place. Just keep doing that until you get all the way back up to the top. Finally, you're going to come through and make small stitches using two strands of floss to tack down the horizontal stripes, like so. And as you see, I'm just coming up in between the vertical ones. And I'm tacking down the thread. And that really helps hold it into place. An option you have for filling in smaller spaces is to come through with split stitch. So what you do for that is I'm using four strands of floss here, the green, and I'm coming up through my previous stitch and it just makes for a nice textured effect. Put the stitch in and then I come up through it, through the center of it with the needle. Just keep on going until I've filled in my area. And that just adds a bit of interest to the piece. Okay. Once you've finished your jack-o'-lantern, you can use your piece of fabric to decorate any sort of project like a bag, a throw pillow, or a piece of clothing. For more information about this style of embroidery and more pattern ideas, check out our list of resources listed in the video description. You will also find a link to a PDF of the pattern for this embroidery design. Thanks!